of Warriors 2016 Marat, he did it again. Apparently, original revamp wasn't the only Fanatic 2 Marat made. He also made a fan made prequel called Let the Show Begin, which was also called Fanatic 2. But th then the old version of the end of Disney was also considered Fanatic 2. Marat, please give up on trying to use the number 2. But in terms of Marat's old Fanatic story, I'm pretty sure LTSB is the most canon. I, I don't know. I may do a video on my second channel analyzing this confusing mess of a quote unquote story. But for now, let's just check out all three versions of <coughs> Hey Fever Simulator 2016. So here's the first version of Let the Show Begin, which was released sometime early 2016. As far as I can tell, the release dates for all three of these versions are basically lost. Not off to the best start, are we? The graphics themselves look fine, I guess, but are oddly dark. Like, I, I know this is supposed to be a horror game, but it doesn't even feel like it's dark in a creep way. It's more or less just dark for the sake of being dark. So, for the mechanics, well, they are extremely simple. You have the cameras, of course, but you also got the Mickey Mask, in which it's only the same mechanic from FNAF 2. In fact, it's so similar that the sound isn't even different. And you are probably wondering, does, does this mechanic even work? No, of, of course it doesn't. Also, there are only two characters in this demo, but, uh, <laughs> we will talk about those interesting character choices later. So, uh, what else does version 1 got going for it? The title screen looks incredibly edible. There's nearly nothing else to say here, so with that out of the way, let's move on to version 2. So, starting off the version 2, we are off to a good start because we actually have a title screen jump scare. The mechanics have also been changed. Instead of a glitch mask mechanic, we got another mechanic where you just gotta play sound. That's it. It still is incredibly glitched all the time because, come on, just look at this AI! It doesn't help the fact that the cooldown on each of the buttons lasts 40 seconds. The graphics study is exact same as version 1, it's just a lot brighter and less sad looking. Also, Abandoned Mickey brings Minecraft Torch into the office for some reason. Also, this is something that applies to version 1 as well. But the phone call is also weird. There is no night 1 call which is weird, but whatever. But for whatever reason, there is only one on night 2. Also, I decompiled the game just because I was curious, but there was no night 1 phone call anywhere. So I guess more either just didn't have time or just forgot to record it. But at the same time, how do you forget to and don't have the time to record a night 1 phone call, but have the time to record a night 2? You know what, I'm rambling here and dragging this on. Let's just move on to version 3 and get this over with. So, version 3 is our last version of Let the Show Begin, and for a good starting point, the music is a straight up banger. The music is actually from Nitro Glitch, and this honestly takes me back to watching Sparta remixes. Yeah, I was one of those kids. Now, the environment itself has been completely upgraded, and, well, this may be a hot take, but I honestly really like how the environment looks. It does look like an actual Disney theater area, and makes a lot more sense than... Uh, whatever this is. The character designs on the other hand... These look terrible! Mara basically just took each of the character designs and dusted them up a little bit. So, uh, does Sand Mickey sound like a unique character design to anybody? I guess it's better than Straw Mickey and Breaking the Magic though. So, this is Editor Buster here, popping in to say, I just realized that Happy Mouse is based off really Happy Mouse which was some random Mickey Mouse game I played on my channel a while back, I may have to revisit this game sometime. The mechanics are the exact same as version 2, though the cooldown is shorter, and the entire gameplay is FNAF 3, if you took out everything that made FNAF 3 enjoyable. Because in this version, guess what you have to do to survive? Did YouTubers back in 2016 really find this fun? Like, this is a genuine question. Did people actually braze any of these games back in 2016? I know it was still the early era of FNAF fan games, but I find it hard to believe that this was considered a good game even back then. Also, this version has cutscenes, and to sum all these up, it's basically Jake killing all the Disney suits at the Treasure Island, and making it into Chaos Emeralds. 
We have phone calls for all the knights this time, except Knight 6. And these would be great if we could actually hear them because, well... Jesus Christ, I mean a phone call in the end of this, the version 1 was horrendous. But at least you could actually hear that. Not that it would really matter because everyone behaves the exact same. So that was what the show began, and just in general, it's a definition of a 2016 FNAF fan game that is now just... Eh, meh. It doesn't have the worst ideas, it just executes them in bad ways, and this is honestly a concept I would love to see be redone someday. But that reminds me that somewhere to the end of Disney, there is a lost build this game that's only sources this video from... I, I, I don't know how to pronounce this. Apparently it's just a demo of V3, but yet again, if anyone has this version, please upload it somewhere, because this game is seemingly lost media. Also, why has no one made a remake of this game, or at least one that didn't get abandoned instantly? Please, someone save my Sandy and make a good version of this game.